Hey there, um, this is Justin Stone Diaz, and this is day three of the Power of Meditation Real Happiness 28 Day Challenge I'm participating in um, that Hay House UK is running on Facebook. So, um, yeah, day three. Um, first day, the post was about setting the ground, getting my meditation space together. Um, and then yesterday's post um, was a little bit more on that. So um, last night and this morning, um, I got to practice, um, did one of the audio meditations, and then did my morning um, sitting meditation. Um, yeah, it's, it's interesting um, trying to approach this whole process with a fresh mind and fresh eyes. Um, I've been focusing a lot on other forms of meditation. Um, and haven't really um, focused on the sitting or the breath meditation or the um, one-pointed concentration. Um, and I can kind of see why now that I've returned to it. Um, when I first started practicing, I had this um, woman who worked at the bookstore I owned, and she was an astrologer and a crystal reader, but she was also a Dharma practitioner. And she was the one who gave me my first mantra, Om Mani Padme Hum. And when she was um, teaching me about that, she was explaining the, I asked her what the translation of Om Mani Padme Hung is, and she went on with all the different um, meanings, but the one that stuck in my mind um, was the, the image of the um, lotus rising from the mud. Um, and that image um, seems to capture what I'm going through right now. Because um, the image is basically of um, this beautiful blossom um, coming up through this murky, muddy, dirty water. Um, and the way she um, gave the, the teaching was that um, the trick in meditation and the reason you, the Buddha is so special is that he's like a lotus. That um, he comes from this muddy, dark world that's all disgusting and full of mud and, you know, the water. Um, but up through that mud comes a really beautiful flower that's untouched by the materials it comes from. Um, so as I was sitting down doing my breath meditation this morning, um, the instruction of that Sharon gives of um, holding your breath like something gentle, um, that was really helpful because I kept on trying to force, um, you know, thoughts were coming up and I was, you know, having the reactions to them. Um, but Sharon's pointing instructions about holding the breath and trying to keep the attention like you're holding something delicate that if you hold it too closely, it's going to break. Um, but if you are not, if your hand doesn't have enough tension in it, the ball will slip out or whatever it is will fall out. Um, but so that with the lotus image, it's the reason I'm realizing that the reason why I avoid um, sitting meditation is that um, meditation practice for me, it's it's sort of like you start you start focusing on things and other things become apparent um, you're sitting on the mat or I'm sitting on the mat trying to focus on my breath um, and then all these other thoughts arise um, and all the thoughts are all the things that I should be mindful about in other parts of my life um, so it's like you like when for me when I meditate it's like I pull out a thread um, and once I pull that thread, the intention is sitting down, doing the meditation, and that's pulling the first thread. But once I get on the mat, it starts pulling that thread. And as that thread gets pulled, and the more practice I do, the more I realize there's all these different threads and things I need to put my mindfulness on. Um, yeah, so the so trying not to beat myself up for the thoughts that arise are, is always um, something that I struggle with. Um, but the I've studied a little bit of um, Big Mind, and I find that I found that voice dialogue um, very um, helpful for my practice. Um, it helps build the witness awareness, um, where you can sort of see things from a third person perspective when you're meditating, or when you're dealing with situations, and kind of give yourself an objective outside view of things. Um, yeah, so watching my thoughts as they come up and not trying to comment on them too much um, almost kind of, kind of watching them go by like um, cars going by on the road um, you notice the color you notice the make 
Um, but I'm trying not to watch the cars as they go by. Um, but as I'm realizing, as I sit down to meditate, there's a lot of threads, a lot of things I need to get in order before, or as I do this, not before. Um, yeah, I've rambled enough and the noise is getting really bad. So um, I hope these are helpful to someone. They're really helpful to me. Um, I'd love to hear some comments. Um, you can find me on Twitter. I'm going to put my um, Twitter information up in the top here and I'm gonna do some stuff with some um, subtitles because um, I love all that crap. So um, see you online and um, see you on the map.